All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next on the Power. So I got asked an interesting question that I thought would make a great topic for a video. And that question was, who do you think is the best bodybuilder of all time? Not in terms of number of shows they won, but in terms of who had the biggest impact as a bodybuilder. So to me, I think the answer to that question has to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, sure, you've got guys like Ronnie Coleman, who won eight Mr. Olympias, Lee Haney, who won eight Mr. Olympias, and Arnold only won seven. But if you're talking about which bodybuilder had the biggest impact, it's got to be Arnold. To me, when you say who is the most impactful bodybuilder, to me, that's who is the most memorable or who is the biggest household name of all the bodybuilders, because that's the bodybuilder that had the most impact, the bodybuilder that the most people know about or the bodybuilder that the most people remember. That's the most impactful or best bodybuilder of all time. Now, some people might argue this point and say, well, Arnold is more well known for being a celebrity, for being an actor, for being governor. These large mainstream roles that he filled, um, this is what people know him for. Well, while that is true, everybody knows that Arnold was a bodybuilder. Sure, people might have heard of Arnold Schwarzenegger through, you know, knowing he was Conan the Barbarian or Terminator, but many of his acting roles came as a result of his physique. Um, and obviously, you know, at the time where he was starring in these major movies, he was one of the best action star physiques that ever existed. Um, so people knew he was a bodybuilder prior to being an actor. They knew that physique had to come from somewhere. Um, and as a result, many people ended up learning his story. So to me, I think the acting roles in the governorship speak even more to why Arnold is the best bodybuilder of all time. Because he was able to parlay that bodybuilding career into these other things. He was able to parlay bodybuilding into acting, which had really not been done to the extent that he did it before. I mean, we had some minor acting roles, um, some Hercules type roles, some very typecast roles in the past, but never really any blockbuster roles like Arnold was able to land. So I also think in terms of success achieved by a bodybuilder, wealth, notoriety, fame, I think Arnold is at the top of that list by a mile. And make no mistake, obviously in his professional bodybuilding career, he was no slouch either outside of the fame and the acting. He was a seven-time Mr. Olympia and a five-time Mr. Universe. Um, so in terms of historical bodybuilding credentials, he is a very, very accomplished bodybuilder. That should go without saying. So from the success standpoint and the notoriety standpoint, Arnold has that all. But if you go over to actually giving back and making a lasting impact on the bodybuilding and fitness community in general, um, you got to look at the Arnold Classic or the Arnold Sports Festival, which has now become um, an entire weekend, one of the largest sporting events in the world, hands down, not even just bodybuilding, all the other sports that are included there. Um, it's one of the largest events in the world dedicated to health and fitness and sport. And of course, on the bodybuilding side of that, the Arnold Classic is the second largest bodybuilding show or second most popular bodybuilding show in the world giving away the second largest amount of prize money to the professional bodybuilders and also being, of course, an Olympia qualifying event. Um, this is a tremendous impact on bodybuilding still to this day and has been for the past 30 years. And that's just his impact on the bodybuilding community specifically. If you talk about things that he's done um, to encourage just overall fitness nationwide, even worldwide, by using the platform that he has to promote fitness, um, you know, you're talking millions of people that this guy has impacted or even encouraged to get into bodybuilding or lifting weights in the first place. I was actually reading a fantastic article that he wrote recently um, where he talks about the recent heart surgeries that he had um, and his journey coming back from that, recovering from that, getting back in the gym um, and making small improvements. Um, and in this article, he talks about fitness, bodybuilding lifestyle and how he said, you know, post recovery, he wasn't thinking about having a six pack. He wasn't thinking about bench pressing 500 pounds. He was thinking about getting fit and healthy again. He was talking about how you know he started out with walks from his backyard um, to bike rides to eventually getting back in the gym. And he says his only goal was to improve just a little bit every single day. And eventually all of those small improvements would build him back to a strong, healthy place. And he goes on in that article to talk about how people in general should view fitness in the same way as he does. A little bit of improvement every single day, not necessarily worrying about six packs or benching 500 pounds, but generally he encourages people to take baby steps towards their fitness goals. And he goes on to use his own situation to inspire other people um, to start their goal now. And he says, 
Don't wait for New Year's resolutions. Don't wait for your own heart surgery or emergency. Start right now and ask a friend to join you. So if you guys want to read the whole article, I'm going to link it in the description box below. I think it's a really good article um, written by Arnold. And I think it's a really good message. I mean, here you have this incredibly famous bodybuilder, not encouraging people to become bodybuilders or live a bodybuilding lifestyle, um, but putting out this message about getting healthier or getting fit um, and starting small, starting with baby steps. I think that's a really good message. So that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Christmas is just a couple days away. I hope you guys enjoy the holidays with your family. Um, whatever holiday you celebrate, I hope you have a great weekend um, and a great upcoming week. Thank you guys for watching the video, and please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.